Hello and welcome to Playgroup for this week. We're going to sing some songs together and then we're going to do a craft and then finish with a beautiful Mother's Day story. I'd like to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mums for Sunday and hope that you get spoilt and enjoy your day. The first song we're going to sing together is Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Our animal this week is the cow, so we'll definitely sing about the cow. together is our shaking song. Now I've made up a little shaker, it's just a little container that I found and I put uh, some popping corn in it but you could use rice or something like that. So you could use a uh, any sort of container to make yourself a little shaker. So here we go with our shaking song. If I say stop, everyone has to stop. We shake and we shake and we shake and we stop. And we shake and we shake and we shake and we stop. And we shake and we shake and we shake and we stop. And we shake and we shake and we shake and we stop. Now we're going to go faster. And we shake and we shake and we shake and we stop. And we shake and we shake and we shake and we stop. And we shake and we shake and we shake and we stop. And we shake and we shake and we shake and we stop. And rolling our hands like this for the last time. And we roll and we roll and we roll and we stop. And we roll and we roll and we roll and we stop. And we roll and we roll and we roll and we stop. And we roll and we roll and we roll and we stop. Our last song we're going to sing together is called God Made All the Animals. So it's another animal song which also has a cow in it. So you can help with the animal noises at your place. So here we go. God made the pig and it says oink oink. God made the cow and it says moo moo. God made the duck and it says quack quack. God made all the animals. You go oink and moo and quack 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 quack. God made the sheep and it says ba ba. God made the dog and it says woof woof. God made the cat and it says meow. God made all the animals. Woof 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 woof. Meow. Ba. Good morning playgroup. My name is Fran. I'm one of the playgroup helpers and I've got the opportunity to tell a story this week which is The Necklace, a Mother's Day story by Paul Clark and Graeme Preston. Sophie rushed down the stairs. Today was Mother's Day and she had a marvellous gift. She gave a lumpy bumpy present to Mum while her brother and sister watched on. Mum opened the present. Sophie's brother and sister began to laugh. Inside the present were odds and ends, 
from around the house, toys, pencils, all tied together with string. Don't laugh at your sister, said Mum. Sophie was sad. It's a special necklace for you, Mummy. Even Mum looked puzzled as she put the strange creation around her neck. Why don't you tell me about it, she said. So Sophie sat on her mum's lap and went through the necklace. The peg. The peg is because you wash my clothes and make them smell nice, said Sophie. The spoon is all for the wonderful food you cook for me. The pencil. The pencil is because you colour in with me and we have so much fun, said Sophie. Sophie pointed. The toothbrush reminds me how you helped me brush my teeth for bed. The scissors are for when you cut my hair, giggled Sophie, but not my ears. The toys are for how we sit on the floor and play together and laugh and laugh. The buttons remind me of how you sewed the buttons back on my favourite shirt when I thought it was broken forever, said Sophie. Not easy pages to turn. <laughs> the key ring is a reminder of how you drive me to the library and we read books together in the sun. The ribbon is for the way you do my hair each morning and we talk about the day to come. The band-aids remind me of how you held me and prayed for me when I fell and hurt my knees, said Sophie. And the breakfast cereal reminds me of what a wonderful day we'll have because I start each day with you, said Sophie with a large grin. There was a tear in Mum's eye. She'd never received such a heartfelt gift. Sophie's brother and sister had tears in their eyes too. What a marvellous Mother's Day gift, what a marvellous Mother's Day this would be. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed the story and make sure you give Mum a big hug for Mother's Day. Our craft for this week is a cow. And you'll find um, a link to the PDF on uh, our website and probably on the email that I sent you as well. So it's a, you'll need a cup of some sort. Um, I'm just using a styrofoam cup or a paper cup or a plastic one. And you just cut out your pieces first. Once we have all our pieces cut out, if you wanted to, you could colour in the nose of the cow. I'm just going to do a pink. A pink nose on the cow. And then we get our glue stick and we glue it together. So I'm going to do the face first. So just put some glue on the back of the nose and glue it to the bottom of the Then we've got our ears and horns. One ear. Two ears and then just a little bit of glue on our horns. Can put our face onto our body. Like that. And then these are the it's a sitting cow. And these are the front legs. And they just go there like that. So that's what our cow looks like. 
And this is where you could, you could glue it just to a piece of paper if you liked, or if you want to glue it to a cup, which is what I'm going to do, because it's a sitting up cow. And there we have our cow. Now with all these crafts that we've been making all term, I would love to see your examples of it. Some people have been sending me through some pictures of the um, crafts they've been making, and I'd love to see your version of all the different crafts that we make. So just email me with some pictures and that'd be great. Quack, 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 quack,